Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part out of arrays. In this video, we will discuss about write a program to count the number of vowels and consonants in the given array. So here let us see how to write the program. Here I will try to declare the namespace using system class A. Here I will try to declare main method, static void main. Now I want to enter a string. Is it clear? So here I, for example, if I try to write what string s is equals to. Uh, here I will give one uh, string called vowel. Now here I want to count the number of vowels and the consonants in the given array. We already know that A, E, I, O, U are vowels, remaining all are consonants. So in this uh, string, how many vowels are there? O and E, these two are vowels, remaining three are consonants, V, W, L. Now I want to check. We already know that string is nothing but character, right? So I'll try to convert the string into char array. S dot to char array. And the written type is char. Char array ch is equals to. And here I'll try to write the for loop. For int i, i is equal to 0, i less than equals to the length of the string. So how to get the length of the string? Length minus 1. We already know always the array, index of the array starts from 0 to size minus 1. So here s dot length property will get the length of the given string. So what is the length? Uh, 5. So 5 minus 1 is 4. That is 0 to 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 5 characters. Now I want to check where the given character, each character is vowel or not. So how many vowels are there? A, E, I, O, U. 5 vowels are there. If CH of I double equal to A or here I will try to write what? CH of I double equal to I. A e i i o o u if the given character is a e i o u then it is vowel so here i will try to declare one variable int v count is equal to 0 initial similarly int c count is equal to 0 v count means vowel count c count means consonant count if the given character is A, E, I, O, U, then it is vowel, else it is consonant. So here what to do? Increment what? V count. V count plus plus. Is it clear? Here you try to remove this R operator. So we already know that logical operators, there are two types of logical operators. One is end operator. Logical operator is used to compare two or more conditions and return a boolean value, either true or false. Condition 1, condition 2 end operator here you can find what end operator as well as r operator end operator means double ampersand that is what end operator two pipelines that is what r operator this is your r operator you already know that uh, condition one is what true end operator will return true if both the conditions are what true end operator will return true if both the conditions are true 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 false false here false true, false. Here false, false, false. End operator will return true if both the conditions are true. R operator, true, true, true. True, false, true. False, true, true. False, false, false. R operator will return true if either of the condition is what true. So here I will try to write what else part here. Else, C count plus plus. Are you following? So means what here? If the given character initial i is 0, so ch of 0 means how much? v. So v is equal to a, false. v is equal to e, false. v is equal to i, false. o, false. u, false. So the entire condition is what? False. So the control jumped to where? Else part. c count plus plus. So it is consonant. So finally, after this for loop, I want to print the vowels and consonants. So I will try to print number of vowels are number of vowels are plus v count. And here I want to print what? Number of consonants. Number of consonants are plus C count. Now press F5, check the output. Number of vowels are 2. If you observe clearly, here the vowels are what? O and E. Two vowels are there, remaining three are what? Consonant. I hope you understood. This is how you can write a program to count the number of vowels and consonants in the given string.
but uh, in the same program for example if i try to give something like what um some any name if i give kanna babu if i give kanna babu under this particular name if you observe clearly how many times yes are repeated three times is it clear so how many vowels are there in this context a a a three a's u one u so one two three four vowels are there and one two three four five consonants are there four vowels five consonants but according to my requirement i want to display what i want to consider all a's as what one a and u as what u so i want the output number of vowels two number of consonants two something like that and it has to consider um, the repeated character as a single character so what to do for that so here we need to think about some logic it means that this is my array see here this is my array because string is nothing but what character array right string is nothing but what character array and here if you observe clearly this is your array character array right here you see this is your string so your string is converted into which array char array so always index number start from what 0 0 to 5 minus 1 okay now here this is 0 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right now what is my requirement means first of all i have to compare this k with a k with what n k with what n something like that each character with all other characters if the same character is repeated yet the repeated character duplicate character you can consider as what space is it let us see for that so what we have to do means i will write one for loop for out I here i will write one more for loop for int j is equals to here i will write write i plus 1 so j less than equals to j less than equals to ch dot length minus 1 j plus plus so this is i and this is what j right so here what i want to do so we already know that here what this is my uh, character array k a n n a b a b u this is my string string is nothing but what character array is it clear now i want to initial i is how much zero so we already know the index of the address start from what zero this is one this is two three four five six seven eight so always index of the address start from what zero so initial i is how much zero means k now come here j is how much i plus one means what zero plus one that is what one means i am comparing k with what a and again j plus plus so j is how much two is it clear now again two means what i have to compare k with what n condition is false k with n condition is what false a false b false like this all the conditions are false now j is how much 9 so 9 less than equals to 8 condition is false come out said now increment what i i is how much 1 now again enter into the loop i is how much 1 1 plus 1 2 So a is comparing with what n? A is equal to n false. A is equal to n false. A is equal to a true. Condition is what true? If the condition is true, we have to remove this a. Are you following? So I I will replace this a with what space. Similarly here also I want to replace this a with what space. So for that I will write the code here. If ch of i double equal to Ch of what j? Ch of i double equal to Ch of j. Then what to do? Ch of j equal to space. Ch of j is equal. To, so indirectly, I am um, replacing the duplicate character with space. And then now I have to check whether the given character is vowel or consonant. Here I can check something like if if Ch of Or you can check outside; it doesn't matter. Outside this inner for loop, you can check if ch of i double equal to what a, or I want to check whether it is vowel or consonant. Is it clear? 
ए और ई और आई और वो और यू ए आई वो यू मीन्स इट इज वेल एल्स कॉन्सोनेंट ब्रैकेट ओपन ब्रैकेट क्लॉज इफ इट इज वेल वॉट टू डू इंक्रीमेंट वी काउंट इफ इट इज कॉन्सोनेंट वॉट टू डू इंक्रीमेंट सी काउंट आर फॉलिंग एंड इयर वन मोर पॉइंट इयर इफ वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट लॉजिक वी नीड राइट इफ इफ सी हेच ऑफ इज इट क्लियर एंड इयर वन मोर लॉजिक आई विल डू आई विल ट्राइट राइट वॉट इफ इफ सी हेच ऑफ आई इफ सी हेच ऑफ आई नॉट ईक्वल टू वाट स्पेस Not equal to space. And I, as we already replaced that one with what space. Here we replace with what space. No, I am telling that don't count what space here. I am telling that don't count the space. Is it clear? Now let us see. I'll, I want to print what this. We will count. Console dot write line of v count. Here I want to print what number of vowels are. Number of vowels are plus v count, and here I want to print number of consonants are plus c count plus f five. Number of vowels are two, number of consonants are three. So my program is perfect. If you observe, means here number of vowels are two because a e i o u are vowels. So how many vowels are there? A so three a's are there. So consider three a's as one a and one u. So number of vowels are two. These three a, one a, a and u. Number of consonants k, two n's consider as one n, two b's consider as one b. Three consonants are there. That is perfect. And this program will work for any type of input you give. If you want to read the input from where console console dot write line of enter a string. And here I will try to store the string in one variable. String s is equals to console dot read line. Press F5. Here I'll give aeroplane. If you observe clearly under aeroplane, how many a's are there? One, e, a, e, o, three vowels are there. How many consonants are there? R, one, P, two, L, three, N, four consonants are there. That is how you can check whether the given character is vowel or consonant. Is it? It is a very beautiful program. Here, if you observe clearly, what I am doing, I am comparing each character in the string with all the other characters. And if the same character is repeated in the array, I am replacing that uh, repeated the duplicate character with space. Is it clear? So here one uh, one point you have to understand. For example, if I given the string as k a, and here n n a b a b u. If I give the string as Kanavabu here, now I'm I'm uh, when uh, i is equals to what is zero, I'm searching for k k with what all the other characters. Is it clear? So k with a k with n comparing. First character with all the other characters. If the first character is uh, if the character is repeated in the other character, replace that other character with space. Is it clear? And if uh, C H F I not equals to space because space is not a vowel, it is not a consonant. I don't want to consider space. So if the given character is space, neglect that one. If it is not a space, and then check whether it is vowel or consonant. I hope you understood. This is very. Powerful example. Several times I'll ask in interviews to improve your logic. Are you following? So for more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.